Welcome to DPEX. In this example, we will analyze the gravity retaining wall with the tools of our deep excavation software program. DPEX is our software for deep excavation design and analysis. It can design any common wall type and support system using different analysis methods. Inside DPEX software, one of our first actions should be to review the geotechnical report and we can access the soil types dialog where we can create a list of soils and define the soil properties for each one of the created soil type. We can add new soils in this list, access and edit the general soil properties, the elastoplastic properties if we wish to use the nonlinear analysis engine, and the bond resistances. The soil properties can be defined manually or with the use of the software estimation tools. We close this dialog and next we can access the edit boring dialog where we can define our actual stratigraphy. In this dialog we can select to add several borings in the list and we can access each one of them and modify them independently. Here we can define the top of the soil layer elevation and the soil type below this elevation choosing from the list of soils we just created or edited. In this case, with the top elevation minus 12 feet, we will use the soil S1. We press OK. So here we can see that the stratigraphy is updated. Next, we will define the general water table. This can be defined from here at the water elevations for the left and right side of the wall. So we will place the water table at elevation minus 5 feet. In this example, we will analyze a gravity retaining wall. In order to define a gravity retaining wall section in the software, we need the additional module gravity retaining walls. So here we can select to use a gravity wall since the module is activated and we can select to edit the section. We can select one of the predefined sections here. We include several. And in this example, we will use this shape. And here we can define the dimensions for our section. In this case, we will make the total height of the wall 16. The base will be 12 feet. And we will leave the other parameters as they are. Here we can select to use a key below our retaining wall and we can select the key height, 2 feet, distance from the left corner, 2 feet, and the key thickness, 2 feet. So we can see that the key is created here. In the central area, we can define the reinforcement between consecutive letters marked on our sketch here. So for each part, we can select river size, selecting from the drop-down of river sizes, number of rebars, and the concrete cover. We press OK, and we can see that this action updated the structural section of our wall, so now we are using this gravity retaining wall section. Now we will access the model dimension limits button, and here we can define the left, right, top and bottom limits in order to create a nice view of our model. Here we will select to place the model from minus 55 to 55 and below it will be to minus 40. I press OK so we will see that the model changed. We will right click here and we will add a construction stage. And in the new stage one, we will select to excavate on the right side of the wall to elevation minus 10. And we can also dewater on the right side of the wall to minus 10 also. Finally, we will add an external load. So in this example, we will use a surface strip charger. We will select this tool from the drop down. We click on two random spots on our model area. And here we can define the exact 
coordinates where the load starts and where it ends. So we will place it from minus 40 feet to 2 feet behind the wall to minus 2 and we will use a 0.6 KSF load. We press OK, so we see that the load is updated. In the analysis tab of the software, we can select the analysis method. In this example, we will run the classical limit equilibrium analysis. We will use simplified flow for the water pressures. We will not use any wall friction to the model, and we can leave selected the active and passive pressures for the driving and resisting side respectively. We select to run the analysis. This is the analysis and checking summary dialog that gives us the most critical values among all construction stages. So here we can see the maximum wall moments, shears, and the structural ratios. Here we can also review the wall embedment safety factors and we can see that the model is fine in this case. We press exit and we can see several results also graphically on the model area. Here we see the horizontal pressures. We can see the wall moment with the moment capacity. We can see the wall shear with the shear capacity. We can see the water pressures around our gravity wall. And if we access the gravity retaining wall, select to edit the section. Inside here, we can see the partial results for each construction stage. So we see the developed forces and moments, the capacities, and the rotational and bearing safety factors for each construction stage. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our website in order to review more information about our software programs and services and feel free to contact us.